I'd like to thank everybody for being here tonight. Uh, my name is Douglas C. Morgan. I'm a longtime uh, Ellis County resident. Uh, for a brief time, my father moved us to DeSoto for a little while, but we got back here as soon as we could. I'd like to thank, also thank the uh, uh, Women's Republican Party uh, for having us here tonight, as well as the uh, Dallas State of Life. You, uh, Dallas, I'm sorry. If you have never, ever done this, it's scary. <laughs> I will tell you. I'm not much of a public speaker. I'm more of a get out and do the job guy. I'd like to thank you gentlemen for being here tonight. I, I started off, I've always wanted to be a public servant. I've always tried to, since my adult life, being a public servant. I started off as a paramedic. I've been a paramedic for well over 20 years. Uh, and I, about 10 years ago, I started being a peace officer. I found my calling working with doing both. I currently serve outside of Ellis County in uh, Hill County as both as a police officer and as a paramedic and sometimes I even work as a tactical paramedic. I enjoy doing things. I've served at the Texas State Guard with some of the former members are here. I've served also with the Texas Civil Defense. And I'm also um, Christian conservative. I go to Alice County Cowboy Church, same as Frank does. I know him from there. It's a great place. Uh, love to serve uh, for those people. It's great getting out and being and just being, uh, for lack of a better term, a public servant. I, I love doing things for other people. I love getting out and meeting people. I'm a personal person. I love getting up, shaking somebody's hand, helping them out whether it's giving them a band-aid or just changing their tire on the freeway. I worked in Italy as a police officer for a few years. I want to come back and serve in Ellis County because this, I believe this is the greatest county in the greatest state in the greatest country. And I'm thankful my mom and dad are here uh, to support me tonight. This is all new to me. I hope you bear with me. I understand that you know, I realize I'm stuttering. But this is important to me. Doing this, uh, doing the job as constable in Ells County is something I'm really uh, look forward to doing. I would like to thank each and every one of you for your time and your understanding. And coming to Terry Nay, your opening remarks, sir. Yeah, Neil, I like that. Thank you guys, everyone else has taken your time and, and doing this on a continual uh, two-year basis rotation, so thank you thank you for doing that. I'd like to thank the Republican women as well for sponsoring the event and, and putting this all together and, and having this kind of turnout just says an awful lot about Ellis County in general, so uh, very glad to see everybody concerned enough to be here tonight. Again, my name is Terry Nade. I am your constable for Ellis County Precinct 2. Uh, I've been very blessed by the, uh, by the voters of area Ellis County to serve in that position for the past 20 years. I'm currently, uh, currently finishing up my fifth term in office, so uh, thank you all very much for having the faith and support in me to do this over the past years as you have. Um, I'm also a second generation Ellis County citizen. I've been here my entire life, except for a short stint in college, and uh, so Ellis County is my home. We've seen an awful lot of growth over the past 20 years, and uh, I'm going to reiterate an awful lot of growth, and we have a lot more coming. But uh, it's, things have really changed in Ellis County uh, in the 20 years that I've served here, so it's been a pleasure to serve each and every one of you, and, and I'm happy to do that. Um, I have three kiddos that go to school here in Wauxhatchee. I graduated from Wauxhatchee High School as well. and. Uh, that's about it in a nutshell. Terry, if you'll stay put, you'll be the uh, first to respond to our question for tonight for each of the candidates. What do you see as the biggest challenges facing the office you are currently holding, and if re-elected, what are your plans to address those challenges? Well, Ken, the, the biggest objective right now is to win re-election. <laughs> uh, and once we get that accomplished, uh, then, it, then it's a little, little more downhill. But uh, I'm going to reiterate what, what these other guys have said. And growth, obviously, is the biggest challenge that's facing Ellis County. 
for many of these uh, public servants in their offices. Growth is, is something that we've tried to prepare for, but it's coming faster than we've prepared for it. So, um, and, and that has been a big challenge in the past five years or so as well. Uh, it is, it's coming a lot faster than what, than what we expected and what we've been able to keep up with. Unfortunately, as gospel, I don't have a whole lot to do with the, uh, with the county budget in and, and how that all happens and takes place, but I can tell you that, that we're dealing with budgets that we were dealing with. I'm still operating on a budget that we were operating on 14 years ago. So uh, to do that is a feat in itself, and thank goodness for technology. We learn how to do more with less every year. And uh, if it weren't for technology, we certainly wouldn't be able to do that. But uh, we have growth coming at a, at a rapid rate that is just going to be very challenging. Okay. Thank you very much, Terry and Dane. We'll pose that same question to your challenger, uh, Douglas Morgan. Douglas, what do you see as the biggest challenges facing the office you are seeking to hold? And if elected, what are your plans to address those challenges? Go along with the growth is customer service. We need to get better at our jobs, get out there what the community expects us to, and beyond. You know, sometimes just a simple act of changing a tire. So doing your job as, uh, as constable, as well as working with all the other local law enforcement and uh, uh, commit, like the commissioners, working to get what's needed, what's best for the county and our precinct, doing whatever it takes to do our job, uh, and work well with others be, and be ready for any foreseen hazards such as we just had recently with the tornadoes. I'm, I'm willing to work with Sheriff's Department, Commissioners, and whoever I need to, to do what's best for Ellis County and for what's best for each and every one of you because you you'll be paying my salary. You pay his salary. I, I expect the best of myself. I will be uh, available 24 hours a day, seven days a week if need be. That's what it takes to get the job done. I want what's best for Ellis County. I'm willing, I'm willing to listen to you to find out what's best, what y'all want. That's customer service. Be respectful, kind, do what we need to do, work together, and make this a shining example in the state of Texas with us, the United States, that we can all work together and be respectful in a uh, conservative Christian way. <coughs> okay, Douglas, uh, you'll stay there. <laughs> because you'll be the first up on the uh, closing statement for this race. If y'all do the honor of voting for me as constable, like I said, I will do my best to give you the best current community service. I will be there. I'll be at your discretion. You can contact me any time of the day. I will respond to uh, respond to your needs as you request it. You know, I will do my best to work with the county commissioners, to work within the budget with the means we have to uh, protect the citizens as well as, as do our job at, in the civil process area. Of the job. I will work. I will get. See if I bring in the best people to work with me. Uh, and this is real hard. Public speaking is not my forte. But anyway, I, you know, I honestly believe with your with your help, your got your guys and your suggestion that I can make this a better county, make it especially uh, precinct two, constables. Uh, I look forward to working with you all. And, uh, and responding to your needs. Thank you. 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 Thank this portion of our candidates forum. Thank you. I just want to uh, ask for everyone's continued support, and uh, I think I am the best candidate for the position. Um, I, I want to state that experience does count. That is my campaign slogan, and and it makes a big difference. There's a lot to know in this position, especially in the civil law aspect. It gets very detailed and very intricate, 
and it's not quite as black and white as the criminal law side of things are. Um, unfortunately, as a constable, you have to know both, and you have to do both. And so, uh, the, the criminal law is one thing, and it's a little easier, a little more black and white than the civil, which is just very gray. And so, it's, uh, it's, it's a lot of information to know, it's a lot of information to learn. Um, I would like to, to tell you that I think I'm most experienced candidate for the job. I do have a bachelor's degree in law enforcement and police science from Sam Houston State. And uh, I've been doing this job for 20 years. I've also been teaching for the state association over the years. Many other constables and deputy constables and sheriffs and their deputies, as well as uh, recruits at academies for Navarro College. And uh, so I would just appreciate your continued support. I'd like to thank you for the past 20 years and hope I can continue.